The Settings app in Windows 10 is one of the most important places on your PC, acting as a hub for everything from your Windows firewall to updates to connectivity menus. So if your Settings app stops working or keeps crashing, you're in trouble. But fret not, because we're here to help you fix the Settings app when it goes dark on you. While many people will balk and wish that Microsoft wasn't slowly burying the trusted control panel, the Settings app has grown into a key feature of Windows 10. It's the launchpad into controlling your system, from adding devices to controlling users and gaming features. If settings stops working, however, Windows becomes pretty dysfunctional. So if your Settings app is stalling or just not opening in the first place, it's a bunch of fixes that should get it back in working order. A simple solution. Sometimes the best solutions are those that seem too simple to be true, but in tech that's often the case. Here's the simple solution. Click the Start button, right click the cog icon that would normally lead to the Settings apps, then click More and App Settings. Finally scroll down in the new window until you see the Reset button, then click Reset. Settings reset, job done, hopefully. Alternative ways to open settings. If you're just looking for a quick workaround to a misbehaving settings app, then perhaps your best bet could be to try and open it another way. One method is to press Win plus I to try and open the settings app. Alternatively, you can click the Action Center icon in the taskbar, the little speech bubble at the bottom right, and then click All Settings. If these methods don't work, or if your settings app still can't be accessed the normal way via your Start menu, then it's time to try something a little more involved. Reinstall and re-register Windows apps. The Settings app in Windows 10 is counted among the official built-in Windows apps, so reinstalling it, along with every other Windows 10 app, should fix whatever problems you may have with it. To do this, open the PowerShell, and to do that, type PowerShell into the Start menu search, and then right-click it and run as Administrator, and enter the following command. This command will re-register and reinstall all Windows apps, hopefully getting the Settings app and others back to full working order. Run an SFC scan. Before trying the more elaborate method of fixing the settings app, there are a couple of fixes that might do the job. Scan your hard drive for errors, go to the start menu, type CMD, open the command prompt, and then type SFC slash scan now. You may have to open the command prompt as administrator for this to work. That failing, you should try downloading the Windows Update Troubleshooter and see if that helps. Link to instructions in the description. Create a new Windows user. If you still can't open the Settings app, then it's time for a more radical solution, creating a new administrator account and transferring your files over to it. Click the Start menu, type CMD, right-click Command Prompt, and then click Run as Administrator. In the Command Prompt, type the following command, but with the username and password that you want to create for the new user account. You should see the message the command completed successfully to inform you that the account has been created. Next, go to the control panel, user accounts, user accounts, manage another account, select the new account you just created, change the account type, then click administrator in the new window followed by change account type. The new user is now the administrator. Then sign out of your current account and into the new user account and then try accessing the settings app and it should now be working. The next step is to transfer all your files from your old Windows account to your new one. Go to your system hard drive where Windows is installed in File Explorer, click View in the tab at the top, then tick the Hidden Items box. Navigate to your old user account in the File Explorer, see User's old account name by default, and double click it. You may be prompted for your account password. Then copy and paste all the files from that account into your new account, located at C Users slash New Username by default. Uninstall clashing apps. Believe it or not, there are some apps that are known to prevent the Windows 10 settings app from working. One such app is the Lenovo OneKey Theatre app. This app is meant to simplify the audio-visual experience on Lenovo devices. However, it does seem that it's caused issue for some users and caused their settings app to just not work. Unfortunately, there might be some other apps out there like this, so you should consider researching to see if any of your recently installed apps could be causing an issue. The Settings app is quite important in Windows. When it's not working, it can affect your work and productivity. Use the above methods to fix the issue. If your issue lies with Windows not starting, then we have a fix for that too. Link in the description. Okay, as always, thanks so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.